check this out. Starting to print the parts for this full-scale Apollo Disky, the user interface that the Apollo astronauts used. This is gonna be fun. Parts are already coming off on the i3 Mega. These are the keycaps that will go over top of the keys on the Disky, and you can already see the legends are almost visible. Yeah, there we go. Not perfect, but uh, definitely workable. Cool. I think this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to fire up the CR10 though, because we need this big build volume. The disky is bigger than what the uh, i3 can fit. So we're going to have to fire up this old girl. These are the keycaps I printed in clear PLA. This just, they look a little neater, and if I do decide to underlight them, well, the light could come up through, although I don't believe the real disky is underlit. The, all the files are now in my GitHub. I just folk, forked the uh, the GitHub repo from the Hackaday project, and uh, I'm going to start adding my own because I think I'm going to do my own keycaps here. I'm not liking these. I think, uh, I think I can do a lot better with the laser cutter and acrylic, and then we'll just make our own caps instead of these. Do a white inlay with uh, spray paint and then spray paint the acrylic black. Uh, I'll show you how I do that when the time comes. This is the i3 Mega. I just love how it's like, check this out. That's how they come off the printer. Just perfect. The only thing stuck is my skirt. So just to clear the nozzle out. A little bit of stringing, nothing to it. Pretty cool. doing my Christmas wrapping. Check out what arrived. I have enough shipping envelopes now to ship kits out for, for months, I hope. Thank you guys for buying from the store. It's fun making these kits. And now I had to buy uh, air jackets in bulk. Pretty cool. Check this out. The Apollo AGC is coming along. Just awesome. This is another piece of the disky. And we have these ones that printed out just, just awesome. Really happy with these. The model's pretty cool. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with keycaps and keep on printing. And we're gonna just let this keep going. A little behind on projects since I haven't been able to set the lathe up, but check this out. This is what my father just dropped off for me. There is three 330 watt panels. This is crazy. We got a kilowatt of solar here. Yeah, brand new panels, heck of a deal on them. And uh, if you watch my other channel, the Make Me Outdoors channel uh, with the off-grid camper, this is the future of that. This is a lot of power. A kilowatt of solar. Hmm. Happy about this. Won't be able to set them up till the springtime, but uh, a little excited. So thanks, Dad. Coming along good, but I had to break out the big guns. I haven't had the CR-10 out in ooh, well over a year. And of course, right out of the box, no problems. I gave a tiny bit of a tweak to bring the bed down just a little bit. Give it a little bit more clearance. Clean the bed with alcohol. Away we go. Doki, 14 hours, 49 minutes, and we are left with this right off the printer. And that is pretty damn cool. Couple of little supports in there. Lots of Z-banding here. Actually, it's not, yeah, it's all the way, it's in the Z direction, but looks like it's worse one way than the other. So we've got some slop in an axis. The CR-10, this is only the, the single lead screw. This is the very original CR-10, and this is kind of a junk setup without uh, another Z-axis motor. It's always really super sensitive to set up with the rollers and spacing and stuff. And uh, I'll have a look and see if something's got some slop in it, but minor thing. Pretty cool. Oh, happy with that. I'm actually surprised. 
The first one came out of there just no problem at all. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Oh, well, no problem getting the support material out. Oh, very cool. I have the settings pretty close. Other than that banding, one string, uh, two, three, <laughs> very little. Very cool. Almost there. Awesome. One more done. Oh, yes. Love this. So cool. This is going to be a neat project. It's just so satisfying to see something come off the printer and just be a complete intricate part that not even laid eyes on before. I didn't even look at these STLs. I just uh, sliced them and there it go. Very cool. Working on the store today, way behind on videos, and that's pretty much uh, self-inflicted. This is the ESP32 breakout board video. This is my third pass through this. I've scrapped it twice. I just wasn't happy with any of the voiceovers, so uh, I just keep restarting. Super happy with the way the board turned out. It's just the video just seems to be kicking my butt. I build lots of stuff in the meantime, so it keeps myself uh, a little bit more sane than I would be otherwise. These are the boards from PCBWA. I am so happy with these. They're just amazing. And the ESP32 breakout is complete. You'll see this coming up. Check them out, uh, pcbway.com. They're a supporter of this channel and a supporter of makers, and they're running some cool promos at any given time. Yeah, you can have one of these made yourself. For reference to this is the AGC that I'm printing and building. This is the project on Hackaday IO. You can find linked from my GitHub repo, but this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, pretty happy with how it's come along so far. Check this out. <laughs> Facebook classifieds. I've actually been watching for a sewing machine on the classifieds for over a year. And this one finally came up in my local town, 40 bucks. So for $40, uh, when I looked up this model of Singer, it's an older one, but uh, first thing that came up is this is what they used in home ec classes. So that means it's probably durable as all heck and also cheap. Perfect combo for what I want. Gonna make some curtains for the off-grid camper next year and uh, some other other stuff can't really have a maker space without a sewing machine so pretty cool i'm really happy about this it's been a long time coming Oof. 20 hours not even halfway <laughs> that is a big big print but coming along wonderful check this out i decided to try prusa slicer this is my very first print with that stock settings, except I knocked it down to 98%. Just because I know that printer over extrudes a little bit. Wow, this is pretty good. A little tiny bit under on the bottom on the first, so maybe, ooh, look at that, oof, that's a mess. Well, not bad for everything else, just, ugh, that's horrid. That is, that's nice. So I'm going to mess around. Um, I've been using the same Kira settings for five years. And when I have something that works, it's good to just stick with it. This is close. Pretty good. My package arrived. ESP32s for days. <laughs> Lots to do. Okay, severe with support. Let's see how we did. Well, not bad. But uh, could be better, I think. I think we got a tiny bit of over extrusion there still. I might back that back down one. But our benchies, we've got a little bit better. So this is the one that looked like it ran aground. Our next try, much, much better. Uh, pretty good all the way around, but we got a bunch of Z, a bunch of zitting because uh, I randomized the Z trying to solve this problem. And then we went through a couple of iterations where the bottom was much better but you can see the bow still starting to curl. That's the problem that caused that big dent in the front is curling. Uh, we had to deal with that and all the bottoms pretty good. Boom, fixed. So this is with Prusa Slicer running now and I am super, super, super happy with this. This is a high quality benchy in my opinion i am just fine with that even the words on the back are legible 
just. The only thing is there's a line where the deck is, and that's that's a minor thing that I'm willing to live with. But overall, I'm not gonna change a thing. I am ready to start using Prusa Slicer just for that, just that top surface. Look at that. The deck surface, so nice and smooth. So I'm happy.